Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome to my channel and today's in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix crashing and freezing in the brand new season of the Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 2 on your any PC or laptop. So guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you some easy and simple method you can use on your any PC and fix all errors in just few minutes. So guys, with wasting any time, let's go straight into over this video. So guys, in the very first step, you have to delete all of the junk and temporary file from your PC for fixing this error. So for deleting all of this temp and junk data, you need to press Windows R together from your keyboard. You will find out this run dialog. You need to simply type here temp and press enter. Now you need to delete all of these files from here and now close out this window. In the next step guys, you need to download this Fortnite EV Crash Fix Chapter 4 Season 2. So you need to download this pack, link available down in the description. Open up the link from description and that will take you onto my this website. Once you are here, you need to go for this Fortnite tab onto my this website and there you will find out how to fix crashing and freezing in Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 2. Click on this article and if you are watching this video very late, so you need to simply copy the uh, title of my this video, paste it into the search bar, press enter and now open up this article. Scroll all the way down, click on this download button, complete the simple step, subscribe on YouTube. Make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notification on my YouTube channel and now simply close out this step. Click on unlock link, it will take you to the media file and download this 178 megabyte file. Once you download this zip file on your PC, right click here and extract it on your desktop. Now open up this folder and here you will find out these uh, two folders. First here the DirectX installer and then here Microsoft Runtime. Because mostly people are getting this problem because these drivers or this application are missing. So first go for the DirectX 11, open up the DXDIH shortcut double tap here it will show you this kind of the directest diagnostic tool and first thing you need to check that is the directest version if you have the directest 12 installed on your pc then you need to simply close out and go for the next step and if you have the directest 10 or 11 so you need to open up the zip file scroll all the way down click on this setup button and install this DirectX on your pc by simply clicking on this next button i already have the latest DirectX 12 so i will skip this step now go back into the main directory and in the next step here we got the Microsoft Runtime C++ soft installation. Double tap here, go for the install all.bat file. It will do everything for you in just one click. It will install all of the version of the Visual C++ redistribution packs in just one click. So guys, here we installed all of the redistribution packs of the Visual C++ on our PC. Now let's go for our next step. And in this step, guys, you need to open up your file explorer. Go for this PC. Go for the drive where you install your Fortnite. Open up your program file folder. Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite Games. And go for the binary Win64. And here you will find out this Battle I folder. Double tap here. Go for uninstall Battle I. You need to uninstall the Battle I. Click OK. Now go for the install battle again, double tap. Now go for the easy anti-cheat. Double tap on the easy anti-cheat setup. And you need to go for the repair service. It will uninstall the easy anti-cheat first and then install it again. Now click finish. And once you're done, now go back. Go for the Fortnite launcher and find out the highest size of the file of the active file. Go for the properties. Go into the compatibility, go for the disable full screen optimization and go for the change high DPI settings and check mark also onto the all wide high DPI scaling behavior. Click OK, hit apply and click OK again and close out this window. At the end guys, here are the last two final steps and in this step guys, you need to open up your Epic Games launcher and go for the library of your Epic Games and find out your Fortnite. And you need to guys verify your Fortnite because if any of the file is missing, uh, from the Fortnite directory, you can easily recover that. So find out the Fortnite from this directory. Like here is Fortnite is installed on my PC. Click on three dots, go for the options and guys, make sure to follow the settings. First check mark onto the Fortnite code and the Battle Royale. Check mark onto this box and then go for the high resolution structure. Make sure to uncheck this box. Hit apply. Again, click on the three dots, go for this manage option and guys, make sure to verify your all the file of the Fortnite. Now close out it once you verify Fortnite through the Epic Games launcher. So guys, now in the last and the final step, you need to update your oldie driver and most importantly, your graphics driver or your video driver of your GPU. 
So for updating it guys, I will provide you the link of the official website in the description down there from this video. You need to simply open up the links for the AMD. You need to guys come onto this website, simply select out here the graphics, then select out here the model, whatever you are using, click on the submit button. Now select out your operating system, like if you are using the Windows 10 or 11, simply click here, go for the download button and download and install this driver on your PC. And now if you have the Nvidia, so you need to open up the Nvidia link, it will take you here, you need to go for the product type select out all the detail like if i have the uh, 3070 so i need to go for the 30 series now go for the 3070 then go for the operating system whatever you are using and then make sure to download the game ready driver click on the search button and now download this driver on your pc and then install it and guys that's it now you need to just simply one time restart your PC, then launch your Fortnite and enjoy the Fortnite without any kind of the crashing and freezing in this new chapter and the season. So I hope so you love it, so please make sure to drop a like on this video, subscribe to my channel, turn on the bell notification and leave your opinion about this video in the comment section and till at the next video, peace out.